Hi curls. So it's been uh it's been a minute since I've done a video. Please excuse my voice. I have like this I've been smoking cigarettes nonstop sound going on, but I've been fighting some kind of sinus something for about going on a second week now. So I am here to reveal my swap sec for um what month is this? I told you I was in the cloud. This is May, my May swap sack, which will unfortunately be my last swap sack, and I will explain to you why at the end of the video. Uh, nothing negative, no drama, so if that's what you're waiting for, it's not about anything like that, but I'll, I'll talk to you guys about that at the end. So, um, I am here in the all natural <laughs> today, not a bit of ma bit old makeup or nothing. I just pretty much got out of bed and said, let me just go ahead and do this video. And not to mention, not today, but there are crap load of product reviews that I need to do and products that I need to try that I'm supposed to review. Anywho, so let's get right into it. So this time, this month is not going to be a surprise. I opened this. Um, when I got it out of the P.O. box on yesterday. So I already know what's in here. So um, let's just get right into it. Um, everybody knows the usually two to three items I think that you find on the outside of the golden sack um, are actually your products that are considered to be full size products. And um, I have seen some posts on Facebook and other things like that. Um, and Iyada, I think is how you say her name, also gave me some clarity on it on my very first swap sack three months ago. That the products that are considered full size for your swap sack may not be the actual full size available in that product by whoever makes or manufactures the product. But she actually does it by value. So, if that makes any sense. So, my three things that were on the outside of my swap sack, and I, I have never seen bubble paper that has sticky on one side, but that's what she used, I guess, to keep them together. So, that's what you hear. Um, the featured item in this month's swap sacks was something Irvic. I never know if I say that right anytime, so I just kind of run it through real fast. Irvedic <laughs> items. So some people got henna, some people got oils. I think there was a lotion bar, all kinds of stuff. So I actually received something that every time I go to the Indian store to buy my henna, I was curious about purchasing just to see what it was like and never got it. And I got it. It was actually the, the Vodka Coconut Hair Oil. Now, I've seen this many times before and I've thought about trying it, but um, Actually, my hair, coconut oil that you just get, I think I talked about this in another video from Whole Foods that smells like something cooking. I have not always had a good um, outcome with, but this actually has other things in it. The first ingredients, the first being coconut oil, so it's majority coconut oil. Then you have herbal extracts of alma, and then you have some other all kind of extracts of all other plants, some rosemary is in here. That's good stuff. And so on and such forth. Um, lemon, which is an astringent that's good for the scalp, and hubla and hubla. And there's also some henna in here. So let's just see. I'm just curious. So this is actually this is full size. I know that for sure. Oh, you have to pierce the hole for use. I don't have anything to pierce, so we're not gonna be able to smell that or show you the consistency. So that'll end up being a video of its own, but that's full size. It is 10.14 fluid ounces so we'll see how that goes if it doesn't go as well I will swap it on the um, the swap group next I got one of my products that I already know I love so I was glad to get this from my girl Camille CC's natural her leave-in is fantabulous I really really love it with all my heart um, the scent that it seemed like everybody got was lemongrass I'm not so much a fan of lemongrass I will say this is now one of the strongest lemongrass scented items I've used so I might actually be able to use this. It's something about the lemongrass if it stays around or lingers for a while like if you watch my Shea Moisture video the body product the body set for Shea Moisture the lemongrass one and orange peel I was not able to wear that. It just stuck with me too long and I have way too many sinus issues and something about lemongrass just gets to me but this is actually fairly mild so I'm going to try because I love her leave in. And her, the other one I have, I think is like vanilla scented or something. Um, it's really low, so I needed some more of this. So 
Oh, and this one is in a different pump. So I'm going to try. Or maybe I'll mix the two and it'll kind of die down some of the lemongrass. I don't know. And the third thing that I have is some sweet orange oil. Now, the sweet orange oil didn't smell a spill or anything. But I'm telling you, it is very, very loud. I could smell this when I open the sack. I don't even have to untwist it. It smells really good. I'm not really an essential oil user. In the beginning when I was TWA, you know, when you first watch all your videos, they say get essential oils and spray bottle and water. You know, and all that stuff just never really worked for me. But to, um, hmm, I don't know. I, I may put this in another product. I may, somebody has suggested to me, first of all, hey, this is wake up, didn't do nothing here, went to bed on it. I think it looks pretty okay. I just need to pick it out some, but just went to bed. Y'all know what I got this with. The Wonder Curl. Y'all are sleeping on that Wonder Curl. That is not what this video is about, but I'm going to tell y'all that y'all sleeping on it because that is a fantastic, let me adjust this camera right quick. That is a fantastic product, okay, for um, a styler fantastic it's not very moisturizing but it's a good style and I had mentioned that the thing that bothered me was it smelled like nothing I've never used nothing that smelled like nothing unless you ask for it to be unscented and that wasn't the case with that it just smells like nothing but um I may drop some of this in there somebody has suggested that I just put my own essential oil in, so we'll see but I'm not big on orange but you know maybe I'll drop a little in my bath water I don't know we'll, we'll do something with it Okay, so those are just the three items. And remember, my uh, swap sack is Curly Girl. So I was paying $16.50 a month for the subscription. So then we always have a couple of items in our golden sack. And I received the Cream and Cocoa uh, Cocoa Mellow Co-Wash Conditioning Bar, a sample of it. And it's a little slippery because one of my other items just leaks all over everything. But this is something I have been wanting to try. So I'm glad that I got that because I've ordered some things from Cream and Cocoa and uh, um, but no hair products. The next thing I got was the Honey Child Hair Love Growth Elixir. It's an oil and this is kind of what it was taped down but it was taped down looked like in an up position because I had to take the tape off just to pop it back down so that was a little oopsie uh, during shipping. And it has some kind of herb wood thing inside of it. But this stuff smells great. It smells really, really good. So I'm going to use it. It has all kind of good oils in it. Safflower oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, olive oil, bran, rice bran oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, which my hair loves, um, apricot, kennel oil, castor oil, essential oils for fragrance. And there's a good swap set coupon on there because I know a lot of y'all been talking about um, Honey Child Hair Love, but I can't order anything right now because I have just too much stuff. And um, um, yeah. Um, also, there was Skin Food, a Royal Honey Toner, and it's all in Chinese, but I saw on Facebook that Yetta said this is a toner to use after cleansing for the face. I don't know what the ingredients are because they're in Chinese too, so I don't, I don't know what's in there. So, um, and last but not least, I have my first Sorenzo bead product. I am so excited because I am not ordering anything else right now, but I was very tempted to almost just not follow what I was going to do and order some for Sorenzo beads anyway because her customer service seems fabulous. Her personality is fabulous on Facebook when people are interacting with her and I am being nosy and just reading their posts and her shipping is super fast so the next time I need bath and body items I will be going Sorenzo beads because I've heard nothing good about good stuff about her stuff but I've never used any of it but I do plan to use this and this is the Sorenzo bath and body lemon cream and chamomile bath salt that was a lot to say but it just it just sounds like relaxation I mean for real let's pop this open without making a mess oh my that smells that smells good like all kinds of calm and relaxation maybe this will do good for these puffy eyes so actually right after this video I had planned to take a nice bath just to soak because we're doing this uh that squat challenge thing at work a few of the girls and I it's day three and um mm -mm. I'm hurting so bad y'all don't to do myself <laughs> I am hurting so bad like that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time but we on day three I don't know if I'm gonna be able to complete my day three of squats but that is not what this is about but I'm definitely gonna pour this in my bath 
because the first ingredient is Epsom salt and I I'm gonna need some Epsom salt in my life so thank you Sorenzo beads I'm going to use that so guys as usual I think it's a very very decent swap sack and I mentioned at the beginning of the video that this would be unfortunately my last swap sack so I want to explain to that it's not because I don't like the products that I've been receiving you get it for a good value um, Ieta, the owner of swap sack um, had decided to make some changes as far as um, how her subscription was going to go so she could keep good quality and wanting to use more small businesses and being able to expose us to different small brands. So she had decided to um, go up a little bit on the subscription, I think about a dollar or two, which wasn't a big deal also, and make it by every other month, okay? Um, after that decision, she, um, for other unforeseen reasons, she's decided to just go ahead and not have it be a subscription anymore. Um, that was going to start in July where you would actually have to go on and purchase it every month. I think that's how y'all do, um, one of those other hair subscriptions. I don't want to put out the name because I, I don't, I obviously don't really know. Um, so you go on there and buy them and you just get them and if they're available, they're available. If they're not, they're not. So she has, um, so I was like, okay, well, July, will, June will be my last one then. And, um, cause I, I have enough stuff, um, to make it to the Black Friday sales and then I'll revisit subscriptions at that time, just like I did last year. So, um, she had an unforeseen, the UPS, uh, USPS had some accidents with some swap sacks that she's going to have to redo a nice, seems like a nice quantity of them. So she has decided to push that decision forward starting with June. So if you have a subscription service going with swap sack that had been being deducted out your account, um, it's not going to be deducted this month for the month of June going forward. You will have to actually go on and order your swap sack like you will have to every month it's available or it might still be every month whatever it is going forward and the first day to actually order it is going to be today I think at two o'clock Eastern is when she's gonna release the first batch so you have to go on there and manually purchase it um, and then she's gonna release them on Monday so I've decided just to go ahead and let it go um, like I said it's a great service if anybody wants um, access to a great service please look into that go on her swap sack form and see what you need to do before one o'clock central today two o'clock eastern time to get one and then you'll be in good for june because i know a lot of people have been trying to get in that haven't been able to get in so i'm just gonna go ahead and let mine go because um i was gonna stick with it as long as i was subscribed to it because i didn't want to lose my spot but to be honest now that the spot is gone it's not something i have to rush and get because i have a lot of stuff i just i really do between having swap sag which will now i won't have any subscriptions unless i run into another one that i want to try um, just all the swaps that go on on the forum and people sending me things, um, like that Wonder Curl, nothing but love hair pudding. I want it if you have one. I do. Mm -hmm. I have a good bit of those now, but yeah, I want to continue to collect those. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, so that was my swap sack for the month of May. We'll do a recap. I have the coconut oil. I have CC's Natural uh, Incredible Leave-In. I had an essential oil, mine was Sweet Orange. I had, I'm running out of hands is what I am. I had the Honey Child Hair Love Growth Elixir. I'm gonna just put that back down, I can't hold anything else. We had the Skin Toner. We had the Sorenzo Beads Epsom Salt Time on my achy legs. And a cold wash uh, conditioner bar sample by none other than cream and cocoa okay guys so it was great visiting with you guys i hope you all you guys are in great spirits and extremely blessed um like myself also i miss you guys um holla at your girl bye bye